Hey guys, welcome to Fandango Indie Movie Guide. I'm Alicia Malone and there are so many great little films out this week in theatres and at home, so let's get through them really quickly. I want to start with a documentary called Dolores. This is an in-depth look at one of the most important activists and feminists and also someone that a lot of people haven't even heard about, including myself, Dolores Huerta. She's a civil rights hero. She's the first general that I followed into war. She's not afraid to speak truth to power. Dolores came up with the slogan, Si se puede. Yes, we can. She was right alongside Cesar Chavez protesting for the rights of workers. And she was also a mother to 11 children. This documentary is directed by Peter Bratt and it mixes together archival footage with some incredible interviews talking about how important Dolores has been. It also doesn't shy away at looking at the drawbacks of having a mother as an activist. She would frequently leave leave her children at home to go and fight for families of other people. I left a couple of my children behind. That's part of the sacrifice that we made and that we had to make. And it still pains me when I think about it. And it also looks at the extra fight she had just by being a woman in the activist space. It is fascinating, inspiring and enlightening. Dolores is coming out in theaters from this Friday. We're in knee deep in sexism when it comes to why she isn't studied and why people don't know her. Latina girls need to see statues of you. We will kind of set the record straight. I mean, women cannot be written out of history. To a comedy now directed by Lake Bell called I Do Until I Don't. My new project will propose love is not sustainable. Will you accept that marriage is dead? This is an ensemble movie which looks at different types of relationships and marriages. It's all about a British documentarian who enlists a bunch of people in relationships to try to prove her theory that marriage is dead. Is it too sexy? Almost too sexy. Just so you know, you do look mentally challenged. Well, that's fine because you know what? Being married to you sexy. is challenging in so many ways. Of the bunch, the strongest pairing is Mary Steenburgen and Paul Reiser. They are fantastic together. The whole film is a little bit hit and miss, but overall it's held together by the charm and grace of its star, Lake Bell, who is turning into a fantastic director. I really enjoyed her debut, in a World, and I'm so glad that she's got I Do Until I Don't coming to theatres this Friday. We're all gonna do it. Are we talking about sex? No, no one's talking about sex. You're the only one who brought sex into it. It's not like that. Speaking of great directors, the legendary Darden brothers who did Two Days, One Night have another film coming out called The Unknown Girl. This stars Adele Haynell as Jenny, who is a young doctor who one night when she's working alone in a clinic decides not to answer the door buzzer because it's late at night. And then she learns that the lady who was ringing her doorbell was actually murdered straight afterwards. <laughs> C'était plus d'une heure après la fin des consultations. Vous ne pouvez pas savoir. On va vous montrer les images. Si vous la connaissez, ça peut nous aider beaucoup parce qu'on n'a rien trouvé sur elle. Jenny becomes obsessed in finding out who this girl was and why she was killed and who the killer might be. It all plays out like a murder mystery and it isn't as strong as the previous Darden Brothers films, but it is a fascinating, intriguing tale. It only doesn't live up to their standards because they've set very, very high standards. Moi aussi, la fille, elle est tout le temps dans ma tête. Si tu veux être un bon médecin, tu dois être plus fort que tes émotions. J'arrive pas à me faire à l'idée qu'on va l'enterrer sans connaître son nom. C'est vrai, en même temps, c'est pas vous qui l'avez tué. Also out in limited theaters is Rebel in the Rye, starring Nicholas Holt as J.D. Salinger. So what do I do now? You're a writer. What do you think you do now? Write another story. And then another one after that. How is writing a real profession? And then another one! I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Maybe you're not. This is written and directed by Danny Strong, and it's a biopic of the famously reclusive author who wrote The Catcher in the Rye, and also details his relationship with a social light who's played by Zoe Deutsch. I write short stories. Have you been published? I think Holden Caulfield is a novel. No, I, I couldn't write a whole novel. 
Holden Caulfield deserves an entire book. This is a really solid movie with great performances all around. It's shot perfectly. The only fault is that it's very conventional. And that feels like somewhat of a shame for such an unconventional author. But he did have a very interesting story and it'll make you want to go and read The Catcher in the Rye once again. Cage said this book were with me when I stormed the beaches of Normandy. I don't think I'd be alive if it wasn't for this book. Now to what you can watch at home, and there are two movies available on Fandango now that I particularly recommend. The first is It Comes at Night by Trey Edward Schultz. This stars Joel Edgerton as the father of a family living in a world where everybody has been sick. There's not many survivors. It's him, his wife, and his son who has a lot of interesting dreams. Then a family comes to them and they have to figure out what the family wants. Are they genuine? in needing help or is there something more going on and welcome that's perfect thank you thank you very much <laughs> welcome buddy <laughs> he's hiding why are you hiding if you miss this one at theaters definitely don't miss it at home i love the style it is creepy and it'll just leave you feeling quite unsettled <sighs> The other film on Fandango now is My Cousin Rachel, which features a fantastic performance by Rachel Weiss. Whatever it cost my cousin with pain and suffering before he died, I will return in full measure upon the woman that caused it. It is a dark gothic thriller with a bit of romance thrown in there. Also comments a lot on being a woman in the 19th century. I don't know why you came. I don't know anything about you. All I know is that I like it now you're here. Go to bed like a good boy. Go, go. It's very mysterious with a lot of layers to delve into. Directed by Roger Michel, who also did Notting Hill. Check out My Cousin Rachel on Fandango Now. I've been worried about you. The headache, the sickness. This is a special batch. I've made it up straight. You can lose everything. Everything. And last but not least, Band-Aid is coming to home entertainment. This is written and directed and starring Zoe Lister-Jones alongside Adam Pally. These two play a married couple who figure out that the best way to resolve their fights is through song. Let's make a list of our top 10 fights of all time. Dishes is big, obviously. That is big. That's a big one. But I think you can be a little judgmental. You being lazy. Okay, you're uptight. You're distracted. Play a song. Also stars Fred Armisen as a quirky neighbor. This tells some truths about relationships. Check out Band Aid if you want a really fun, romantic movie to watch at home this weekend. Yeah, I like writing songs with you. Have some ranch. Yeah. Oh, that's a sweet bite. That's the Tom Petty bite. If you're looking for an interesting indie film in theaters, I recommend Dolores. I do until I don't. The Unknown Girl or Rebel in the Rye. And at home, you can catch It Comes at Night, My Cousin Rachel or Band Aid. Let me know what you've been watching in the comments below or on Twitter at Alicia Malone, and I'll see you next week.